Now let's talk about upper chest growth. Starting with the incline press, because I know you all love the incline press for your upper pecs. Now to begin with, you need to understand the concept that if you're gonna wrap a rope around something, then you're gonna pull on that rope. That thing that you wrap the rope around can only come towards you. You can't pull on the rope and make it go sideways or backwards. You got that? Now, I know this sounds like common sense, but it's important and I'm just making sure that you got that. So, now, let's imagine that you are a muscle fiber origin and you are planted with your feet dug into the ground and you're holding a bundle of ropes in your hands, symbolizing the muscle. Now, this bundle of ropes is attached to a heavy box and the box is embedded in the ground. Now, the box, that's gonna be the lever insertion or where the muscle attaches to the bone and exerts its force on it to move it. So the rope attaches to this lever and when your muscle contracts, it basically shortens pulling up on the lever. Now, you're anchored in place and you're pulling on that rope and the muscle fiber, the bundle of ropes. Therefore, you're pulling that limb towards yourself. So, basically, what I'm trying to say is that all muscles pull towards their origin, and this is an absolute rule, and it applies to every muscle in your body. It is absolutely impossible for a muscle origin to pull its limb in any direction other than towards where it's located on the bone, just like you pulling that rope with the object attached to it. So now, understanding that, if you were to look at the pictures on an anatomy chart, you'll notice that the direction of the ropes or the muscle fibers on the pectorals are going outwards from the center of the chest to connect on the upper arm or the humerus, about three inches up, or two inches up rather. Now they do this into a fan shape, but you'll notice that they do it in a way that they all connect in the center of the chest, the sternum, now that's the origin. So that would be you, in other words, standing there with your feet dug in the ground holding the rope, but it would be like, uh, you know, millions of you lined up along my, uh, your chest. Now your pectoral muscles would be the rope, so think red ropes. And the place that they would connect would be on your upper arm. They all kind of end up there like a triangle, if you will. And they, uh, they connect on your upper arm, that would be the lever insertion. So, you'll notice, when you look at it, it's shaped like a fan, and some of the muscle fibers do actually point up a little bit, as in they, they kind of arch up towards your face. Now this is probably where the fitness industry got the mistaken idea that moving the arms in the incline direction would work the upper pecs. However, like always, they're very wrong. Now, I want to stress. You don't have to take my word for this. You can try this out for yourself. The next time you're at the gym or, or even right now, I would like you to imagine yourself flexing your chest. So, to begin with, if I asked you to flex your chest by raising your arms up and then pulling them together in a straight line like so, basically pulling them uh, in a direction parallel with the ground towards each other. Much like you're doing during a bench press. Go ahead and try it. I'll wait. Now, as you can see, you wouldn't be doing that if a girl was around because you get almost no flex in your chest. You have almost no chest activation except a very small amount at the very top. Now, that is your upper chest. Now, if you did it correctly by keeping your arms parallel to the ground, brought them together directly in front of you, you would only feel these upper pec fibers working. Now I would like you to return your arms to the ground and stand normally. Now, if you were to do this, just look at yourself standing normally in the mirror, you would see that all of your pectoral fibers are located beneath your collarbone, and when you raise your arms up and stand in like a T-stance, that the muscle fibers which were pointed upwards only a moment ago are now pointed in a straight line across your shoulders. They're no longer pointing up. So, 